And then the Holy Scripture says, never trust your enemy. Never. We, we thought our enemy was us. But we heard the enemy of my enemy the sign. is one that you would literally say, we are your friends because we both have the same enemy. Right. We are not our enemy. Right. The real enemy is the one who can say, this is a river here. You know what? Let's stop it up. There's no more river. <laughs> That's your real enemy. I agree. Because he has the power mm -hmm. to change and to tell you that you are who you say you are. Right. But no, the spirit is rising up back where we are saying, hell no, I'm not what you say. Mm -hmm. There's a distinction. The scripture says there's a distinction. There's a difference between Ham, Ethiopians. There's a difference. The, and everybody's supposed to know their tribe and their lineage of people. Mm -hmm. We are from this region, of course. Right. But we are not quote unquote broad brush and say I'm African. If you go to a person and say, Hey, are you African? They were like, What? What are you talking about? I'm from this tribe. They don't call themselves Africans. We were labeled Africans. Mm -hmm. right. But we go by it because that's all they keep calling us, because they're the one who's with the power. Right. But if the power the, this black and white and separation change, we wouldn't be calling us what we are calling ourselves today. Right, but I understand that, but you still didn't answer my question. Hey, can a devil be a Hebrew Israelite? And my term, my definition of a devil is one that lacks melanin. No. Uh, That's not what I mean. Okay, well, why? And I know everybody is not perfect. He said it's not what a devil is. A devil is... A devil is well, a well, I'm going to break it down. Let me break it down and make no this, uh, uh, misunderstanding. To me, a devil is a white person. Now, we got some that, uh, that have melanin, but predominantly speaking, the people that met the criteria that you just said lack melanin are European. Yes. And so my question is, can a European, by my definition, be a Hebrew Israelite? Okay. No, so that's a beautiful question again. And it's not about skin color. That's what I thought. It's not about, see. That's what I thought, see. It's not about skin It doesn't color. matter. It, right. P, again, because... You know you're coming out and you're saying, like, don't use the word nigger anymore because you call a person who has uh, racial discrimination and all these things. No, no. Who says that? Uh, same people who gave us the name and call us that name. So they're the ones now saying it's wrong to do this. Okay. Right? Because a few of us don't like the term, but it's actually good. Because when you identify me that way, it's a reason why you did. Right. And now it's for me to find out why you do identify me. When I realize why, Oh, so you're trying to grow to, to, to sow seed amongst, like bad seed amongst good seeds to create an issue for we not to distinguish the difference. Mm -hmm. But it's not skin color. It's bloodline. It's seed. Oh. You understand? You could tell wow. the difference from, sometimes if you look at a cactus plant, you have different type of cactus. Mm -hmm. But they all have prickly stuff and green, but right. it's so, just... So it's not about with the Hebrew Israelites. In that sense, what you're saying is not about... Skin color. No. It's about bloodline. Yes. Okay. So a white can be a Hebrew, Hebrew is like So a person that is me less melanin or no melanin, for example, what would you call Bakari? Would you call consider him a, a, a black man or a white man? He's a half cat. Okay. He's a half Neanderthal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that was too funny. <laughs> now wait a minute. Now wait a minute now. Now wait a minute now. His, his, his father, it's real. I mean, his, it is true. His, his father was 40 years old, mm -hmm. and his mother was like 19 or 20. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was a European. Yes. And his and his mother was Jamaican. Yes. 
So, I would I would say that was a correct label. No, no, like, it's no like, what would you hey, call it? I just want to hear what a Hebrew Israelite would call it. Yeah, we would we would say based on what the scripture because what happened is that they want us to go by our own understanding and our own experience. But the scriptures is what's going to direct us and season us up into the right place. So we would say you are what your father is. So even though it is dark, Abraham is dark mm -hmm. because obviously he got that from his mom. Father was a, a Caucasian. Yes. But you're what your father is. You understand? It's like if I bring seeds from Jamaica to here and plant it, it's the same seed it's bringing forth of its kind. Right. So now, but my father, because he's a white man, so you consider white, him as a white. We don't consider him as a white. He is. Mm. Not me, so it's so no, no, you know, it's not about the color of the skin. It's I about, understand what you're yeah, saying. It's about the oh. seed. I've never heard it that way. I, I never considered him, I mean, uh, as a white man. You know what I'm saying? Because I looked at the way he lived his life. He didn't champion the white cause. He championed the black cause. You, you understand what I'm saying? Right, so this. I would say he was a black man, but he has characteristics of the Neanderthal. You I always start if you come from the black a, a little bit, whatever. It's always the strongest. And that's what we got the dominant right. Things. We have the right, yeah, and that's right. what I always was was taught and told. Yes. The same thing, just like it, well, all of us probably got the same drop of whiteness in it, yeah. or a little bit melanin. more, whatever. But the melanin takes over, makes in us more of a. Yeah, but this is where it's different though, because uh, you know DNA. That's that's where it comes down to your DNA. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. But again, with, if the DNA is most of the black, yeah, but it's, it's, it's it doesn't come down to color, it doesn't come down to this. Okay, that's fine too. To Forget DNA. the color. So, your father has a seed, mm -hmm. and when you have a seed in the natural, you can plant it in any soil mm -hmm. and it will grow. Right in our bodies, it's the same thing. Your father carries the seed. Any woman, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter from wherever they are on, on the planet, you know, that same. man plants that seed, so that seed is always going to be your seed. The child might come out from this woman, white, from another woman, brown, another woman, dark brown. Mm -hmm. But you're looking at them and you might say they don't look the same, the children don't look the same, right? But one thing they all have in common is, is your seed. So, so but still, we, we no, go but, ahead. but understanding your logic. That would mean I'm a white man. No, it's no, no. no. Yeah. Let, let, hear my logic. Yes. Now, with the Africans that were enslaved in America, the Caucasians came in and raped the women. So there was a, a half breed that was being developed. So if I follow your logic that you're the descendant okay. of your father or the seed, because of my light skin complexion, that would mean that I'm a white man. My genes aren't pure. Me growing. Yeah, but the you understand what I'm that saying? Is that it's it's a, it's one of those labels. So, so, so you can't. I, I, I can't wasn't labeling. I was following your logic. Yeah, but in the world. Seed. But if I look at a person and they look white, even if their father is black, you would. So if if you saw a white person, you would assume the mother and the father is white. Right. It may not be the case. I agree. We understand. Father may that. be black. But the mother is white, but the child just comes out looking more right. right. But but the world wants to confuse everybody by saying only look at a person and say are they white or black. But that's not how you determine what the child is. Determined by the father. Yeah. By the father. So, so so if the father is African, then the child is African, even if they look I understand that part. Yeah, so when we asked about Bob Marley, father being white and mother is black, then you have to decide, is the child white or black? But you're going by color, but we don't go by color, we go by the seed. I don't go by the color. I don't go by the color. We don't go by color because we produce yeah, but, albinos. Yeah, but right. And albinos if are, you saw a white person right now, you're going to go by color because you don't know what the seed is. No, I, 
I can look at the color. textures and the yeah, nose. That's what we would do. That's we how we would do it. Yeah, phenotype, so flat nose, uh, curly hair, somewhat small somewhat lips, cheekbones, thick lips. Yeah. You would look at that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just superficial stuff. Color that's, the that's the problem. So you know, in America, they say you have to pass as white. But you can there's tell some, there's some black people who pass as white, and even white people didn't know that they were white right. because they passed. What, what they, they ignored. They ignored the thick lips, features. the flat nose. Other, they ignored that. that yeah, not, not yeah. Come, they ignored it. You know what? Let me let me say it this way. And I love what Brother Patrick. Let me just put a little bit more syrup on the top of it to make it nice maple and syrup. sweet. Yeah. Yes. I'm yeah, still lost. I love maple you syrup. Said, there you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, you know when you usually watch those shows like um, like whose baby baby mama like um, Terrence Stewart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, You're the baby daddy. So what happened? What happened is <laughs> they would check the blood of the two suspected fathers, so to speak, because but it's always one woman, and she oh, don't know never which the one. Same guy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly. Either. So <laughs> now we want to find which one of them is. Mm -hmm. You can't ask her because she's not sure, or she don't want to tell you the truth, or probably she literally don't. Exactly. Know. You can't ask a child because he's definitely last, and you can't ask the, none of these guys because like we know that we both go there, but. So this is where DNA comes in. They would do a blood test on the father, and if the child, not the mother now, the child blood matches whichever one of this man, it's, that's the man. I understand no, all no, of that part. No, I know you get it, but what okay. I'm trying to say, for you, to, for that part to be rooted in your in the concept to understand, is the blood, the seed, the man's sperm carries the, the blood. The egg doesn't have the blood. Right. The seed of the blood. Right. The sperm is what's carrying what we would call like the chassis or the ribs, the bone structure. Mm -hmm. The bone is what produces the blood. So that's why they could always go back and check and see which father is the father of the child. Mm -hmm. So now it doesn't matter what the fruit come out to look like. Some fruit could come out sweet, some could come out fresh, some could come out thick skin or thick lip or some would come out not looking none of the like for example mariah mariah carey you would say she's a white woman not me okay because <laughs> she she got the character she got negro characteristics yes but the, like but you know when you look she does really have, she don't really have those common standard negroid full-on lip not even bob carries much of it his nose was more like mm -hmm. straighter than wide but he was now singing. You think it's an anomaly, but right. it's not. Mm -hmm. It's really dictated by the seed. And when we grasp that and speak about everything concerning that from that lens, we will never go wrong because that's where the science stops. You can you could change all the words you want and dress the monkey to look dust. Oh, it's a human being now. And he went to space first. Doesn't change nothing. You right. see, orangutan is not. He's a barbood. You know what I mean? Yeah, I and do. that's what nature mm. is, is going to prove to you and then for us as Israel the spirit you just don't get up and wake up and just decide why am I like this? It's, it's something that taps back in and I believe when you love truth it's when it ignites and like for you guys you, you like you said earlier you're holding on to the African thing which is good but I guarantee you there's going to be a time that you will let go of it <laughs> no <laughs> No, I, I, I can identify with Hebrew Israelites. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I'm more concerned with where we go as a people. Yeah. Yeah. For, for us, we can, we can sit back here and debate 50, oh, 100 years from now, and we still won't even budge either way. Hebrew Israelite or African, I'm more concerned with where we go as a people, whether we be Hebrew Israelites, Melanated, Negro, Moors, wherever. I'm, I'm more concerned okay. about where we go as a people and what I mean, where we go as a people, how do we stop being suppressed? Yeah, but we have the answer already. We've always had the answer. What the is answer the... is, we turn back to the laws. To the what? The laws. The laws. So, so when we talk about the Ten Commandments, and we say to us, you know, if you go to the churches and you ask the church, who did hurt? <laughs> I have one no, question that, before that, we go there. That just hurt when he said the Ten Commandments, but I'm like, this 42. It's more than 10. There's 42, but I said, okay. Right. Yeah, but, okay. Yeah, but that's why you have to do a little bit of digging. So you have Ten Commandments, 
Yeah. You, you keep saying 10. Yeah, because no, no, there's, there's, yeah, there's 10 commandments. Okay, okay, there's okay. 10 commandments. Not so, 42. No, just 10 commandments. Okay. But when you break down the 10 commandments, there's another thing that comes into play. It's called statues. So it's just like you going to, say, America. park where people can go and, and enjoy themselves mm -hmm. so there's a, a label that says the law and then you want to know what can you or can't you do in the park mm -hmm. those are the statutes i got you so you have those shall not kill that's just a law but what does it say when you break down killing mm -hmm. now it will say if a person comes on to your property so there was a law that allows you to use lethal force. Mm -hmm. However, if it's no justification for it, it's manslaughter or murder. So those are the statutes. So yes, there was only ten, but you look into each one, you're going to find that there's more things underneath those, if that makes sense. It does. So that's why you say the 42, there's loads, there's a lot more than mm -hmm. that. But you have to then go into each law. And then start to check what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. Yeah. Then you go to the next law and then you look. So, so you're saying that's what we need to do is go back. Go, go back yeah, to yeah, the laws. The, the laws that was the given to our people that, from Moses. That's going to help yes. us as, as a whole. Is that yeah, what because, you're saying? Because everywhere, see, the problem that we didn't, we were not told about is um, in the West, the laws are called the judiciary system. Comes from the word Judah. Yeah. yeah. So the laws that the West has that you attribute to the West actually comes from us. It's our laws that they took. So we took the laws that was given to us, and we said we didn't really have a thing for the law. That's what we said. That's what mm -hmm. we said. That's how our ancestors cursed. Yeah. Cursed. Mm -hmm. And then the West now got a hold of our laws and took our laws and made it their own. So when you are saying, oh, the West has got this law and that law and that law, you think it comes from them. It doesn't come from them. Not it I, comes from us. Right. Mm -hmm. And I never attribute anything mm -hmm. that they have as it's theirs. theirs. Okay. Everything was stolen from, from us. The yes. continent. From right. us. Right. I have a question. With uh, Hebrew Israelites and Christians, what's the difference? A ain't y'all the same thing? Because I see, because you have the I same Bible, people, right? I see yeah, some that say I'm no longer a Christian. I said, now why would they say that? I mean, I, I, I thought you, it, it's you know it's, it's, it's the same thing, but I've seen Hebrew Israelites say I'm no longer a Christian, and I and, and, and I can buy with that because you read the same material. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? saying? Because the, just the, a different interpretation. The, the, the see, the Bible belongs to. But how do you know that? We, just because it's in the yeah, Bible, right? Yeah, no, no, not just because of that. See, this is why you have to put in some sort of study to see uh, where did the Bible come from? Where did the church get the Bible? Right. When we talk about, when you look at the Bible, it says King James Version. It doesn't right. belong to King James. I agree. It does not belong to the Roman Catholic Church. I agree. They got it from somewhere. And where did the Romans get it from? They got it from the Greeks. And where did the Greeks get it from? They got it from the Hebrews, from our people. Mm -hmm. So we were given the laws, the books, or the manuscripts. The Greeks took it, the Romans took it, and they decided what they wanted to take out and what they wanted to put in. We have it in the form of what we call the Bible. Romans or the Greeks, it belongs to us. Where did we get it from? You talk about Moses. Moses went up on the mountain and brought the laws back down. He wrote the first five books that we consider to be the first. So five there books. were there were a Moses. Oh yeah. Yes. Now, now see here, <laughs> uh, here again. Yeah. Here's the disconnect. Yes. We don't believe in Moses. We believe there was something created like Jesus. Okay. See, this is the disconnect. You know what I'm saying? 
Y'all don't believe in Jesus either. Y'all call y'all refer to him as Yah. Or Yahshua. Right. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, yeah. Okay. Sure. So uh this is the dis this is the disconnect, see. Because my study said there was no Jesus, there was no Moses. This this uh this curse that we're under, that was a construct by them to say, hey, this justification to enslave the people, make them believe that it's a punishment from their God. So they're willingly say, okay, I accept this punishment because it's wrote in the scriptures. That's the disconnect with us because we say our righteous superior would not punish unborn children with this curse. And this is where I go back to my buddy, Kirk Curls. We talk hours and hours and hours. And I said, I cannot submit to a God that would punish my children for something that my father did. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I saw your eyebrow jumped a little bit. But I'm about to say it's 20. It's 20. Yeah, his eyebrow jumped. Because, because if, if you're going to if you're gonna punish my descendants, what kind of God are you? You understand what I'm saying? That's an unjust God. That's an unjust God. You understand? Yes, that's an unjust God. Especially when they're babies, you punish, they don't know. What, what, you got kids here. You jump in the present and punish them for something they did that's unjust no okay what happened is because i don't understand no. I, I can, I can unjust. Unjust. what happened is when you when it the, 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 what, you're using talking points but those talking points came from somewhere no that came from me no, no, using this, one, no, this is what i'm saying using no. intellect no 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 okay you okay there's a lot of people right here not doing things and they think that they're doing what they're doing because this is what happened they're doing what they're doing because somebody the waterfall from the, the top and just let it trickle down all your life you said this is all that was there but when you go back to the root and you say oh my gosh if we had only known we could and then when you move the one rock flood mm. and that's that yeah. so no but all your that's life that's why you use this there you go but using this and don't okay actions speak louder than words exactly I could have all the words i want like for example, I used to watch on TV, Africa is this place that's so bad, the people is so weak that they can't lift their hand to fight the fly from their face. Yeah. Not realizing that that video was a video that was in 500, 100 years ago, wow. so to speak, when they created a little situation and then that same video is what now they're begging people to give. <laughs> and then all the beg they were begging to give, people gave, but where did the money come? It didn't go where it was supposed to because we were in the dark. So we assume that this place is like what Donald Trump said at uh, uh, SIH2, right. mm -hmm. Sugar honey iced tea. He, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. When, <laughs> when it's not what he was saying, but when you come and see for yourself, you go and you touch the soil and you go, and then you see the people, they said, hey, come and share with me. They have nothing, so to speak, from our standpoint, but yet still they want to share with what they don't have, while those people over there, have everything and I wouldn't go on my street and say hey buddy <laughs> come over mm -hmm. so you're into two different t time space so to speak and you're seeing things different but the vantage point is this and this is how truth come forth because there is truth and then there is a fullness of the truth righteousness and to get to that place you got to do a Moses experience for example you say Moses probably never exists and word Jesus, we don't use Jesus because we know the letter J was the last letter to be added to the English alphabet. Right. I remember when I was a little youth, like my my son, and I used to in Jamaica, we get uh, exercise book but because I was a little man, I get half of the exercise book when I open my exercise book, it has three lines, four, and the other book has only two lines, I'm saying, why is this? and then the teacher said, no, it's to teach you how to write and I remember I, they were teaching me capital J and common J. I remember this. Mm -hmm. And the common J had a dot on it like a high. Mm -hmm. And the capital J didn't... It, 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 did it have a slant on it, the capital J, back that, back that time? It just had a it line was a, and a, it was a big J. Mm -hmm. and no, a, ours was the line in there. And the J at the mm -hmm. book, right. But, mm -hmm. the, but the common J, was a, it had a dot on it. Yes. When was the last time you see a common J with a dot on it? In this time. 
Get in America, you see it, so I don't know. I don't focus on, so I can't say. But that's what happened to me because I I was always caught up on. I was the only child between my mother and my father, and I always wanted to know more. I, 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 my question, I questioned everything until everybody saw You're me. You're the only I'm child. Mm -hmm. He's the only child. Uh, yeah, I questioned everything too. Be and it's because it was just in me. I just couldn't accept because you tell me. Yeah. And even yeah, though you that tell was me, me. It, it didn't make sense. And then when it makes sense is when I move from that point. And it's when I came out of Christianity. Oh, so you were Christian? Oh, full-fledged. See, that's wow. why I said not to down you. Yes. No. You, right now, I'm still, like, lost. Yes. Wait, I already said, babe, you thinking okay. in terms of African... I'm not. It's either way. I mean, of... I'm still thinking my brain going to say... Okay, let's ask you this question. All you said, who told you and who told you, what? the next person... And one more thing. They say, how come we don't get our richness here on Earth? We have to die to go get them. Okay, you see? That's a good question. So see, again, what, what did you say, Mama? Christian. Christianity. So you, Who? Christianity. Christianity. So, so you so, guys don't believe that. No, so you see, there's... Now see, one other Hebrew told us that. See, but those are talking points that you don't know that these were set up for us to continue regurgitate. And you say it not really realizing that it was subliminally or sub, it was placed there. You didn't... It, it, it was just done so decently. Mm -hmm. Like, if I keep on repeating certain things, you believe, but, but I don't repeat it like, dun, 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 you will know. Mm -hmm. I will seed it. Like, and you know, done, uh, so forth and so forth and so forth, and then done. But, and you know, you can see, and then done. But after a while, you know, you, you, once you say repeating it, mm -hmm. the repetition, the, re the repetition is what, what, why are you up now? So, for example, the term Christianity or Christian is a term that was first used on the disciples who were Israelites. So, another person called them Christian. But when you look in the Bible, you would not find the word Christianity. Because Christianity is what we call a religion. And the people within the religion supposedly are called Christians. But there is no such thing because the first person who was called Christian is an Israelite mm -hmm. who happened to be a follower of Christ. So now they are breaking it down and telling you what it means as per you going to look for what it actually means. Mm. So when I went there and I couldn't find the word Christianity, that's when I realized, so that's what the religion is. Because Christianity is not there. If Christianity is there then you could see it owes in itself with Christians. But it wasn't. Christianity is the actual medium that is a religion, which now you have several denominations within it. But none of this that they teach is literally biblically. It's man's doctrine versus what's written. So that's why when you go into a court of law, you have to actually bring the truth out versus what you say or you say if you don't have witness then we can't take your word you have to have good witness but the scripture is our witness because it's actually our history which scripture are you referring to all scripture king james version all of it all scripture all, so when you say king james version the reason why i say version because he did the interpretation he, no, no, he, because there was other Bibles that he gleaned from right. to create his version right. of those Bibles. Mm -hmm. Because those Bibles were like locked in Latin or Greek or some dead language, while the people that the land is governing don't speak nothing what the book is saying. So somebody would have to explain it. Mm -hmm. But the somebody who is explaining it are the liars. They are the wolves in sheep clothing telling oh. you this is what it means when mm. all this time it never meant that. Right. For example, when I did my research, my research started on, on the letter J. As a little boy, I'm, I was curious. I understand now where the letter J comes. There was this Italian man and he was like, you know, writing cursive writing and all this fancy style. And the letter I was there and a hook came to it. But the dot was still on the eye. Mm. See, you lost me again. Who told you that story? 
How did you find that story? That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. He did the research. Oh, right. you say you did the research. He did the research. Yes, because it was something that as a little boy growing up, I couldn't understand. And then in this time when my kids are going to school. Where did you go to the research, find the research to say about Italian man? That's what I'm getting at. Okay. I like that. So I started off my, I went to Bible college. Okay. And in Bible college, they taught us about um, theology, theological stuff, contextual background, mm -hmm. all these different things. So I thought when I went to the Bible college, I was getting to know more about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Until one day I met a friend and the friend said to me, Don, what do you think about the term Gentile? And I go, Not a Jew, then you're a Gentile. Mm -hmm. But he says, Are you sure? And then he says, I said, Okay, wait a minute. You know what? Stop. You try to trick me. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Because I'm like that. I, I'm like, Street smart kicking it. Why is he asking me the question? Because mm -hmm. I always ask, Why, 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 why? Mm -hmm. So then I reverse and say, Okay, let me ask you, why is Donald Trump doing all what he's doing? Why is, why, why is he saying, talking like this? Why does I see the news a black man die and it's always up the white police and the white police get let off go to another state and get job and it was a black cop who goes quickly into jail right. and and I'm, I, I couldn't understand these things my dad wasn't into those things to tell me those things mm. so where did it drop in my mind I don't know but I followed the leading of my mind and then I, when I asked him did he say to me Don you know what you really want to know I said I have just ask you why and ask me if I really want to know. He said, okay, if you really want to know, go and research when the letter J was invented. And I almost, for the first time, like a Christian, I almost swore. And I go, what, what is wrong with you? I said, what is going on? And he asked me to go look up when the letter J was invented. He said, Bob, just calm down. So I said to myself, where can I go to find and I remembered in Bible class the King James Version Bible from 1611 because 1611 meant in the year 1611. And I go, what's it? So I had this old iPhone 3 that couldn't download nothing because they start changing the, the, the way all information will be received on the phone to bring you the newer phone, the new iPhone. And that day I opened the phone and I pressed 1611 download. And it download, the phone didn't crash, and it opened, and the Bible speak to me. I was oh. like, and I didn't do press anything. Just one press, and it came. So when I went to go look for anything that start with J, I went looking for Jesus. And one of my favorite scriptures would have been in the book of John, you know, controversy, this, the history of God, this, or, you know, I mean, God was like, uh, first Timothy, or uh, in St. John. And I went to be and the word, the word was God, and the word was, and I go, I'm looking for the word. And when I found where the word Jesus should have been, I see I hear this word. I go, here's letter I again. That's what piqued my interest. And then I started to follow the cookie trail. And it led me to finding out that the letter J was the last letter to be added. And then that's threw me for a loop. Because I remember all my Sundays or my teacher used to teach me ABC. She said, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I'm singing it to remember it. Because I can't just say A, B, C to get it. I, I'm singing it. And I say, J. And I go, wait a minute. But if the letter J is the last letter in the English alphabet. Just put it in the car. How is it the 10th letter when I say it? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't it be X or Z or Y or something like that? Mm -hmm. And then my journey started from there. And I start to realize, wait a minute. There is more to this wow. than meet the eye and... I mean, to cut it short, here I am today, realizing <laughs> that the world has pulled a fast one many times mm -hmm. over on us. And in order for us not to move with the pace, I had to step out of it and look to get a better um, perspective and a bit different angle. And when I realized, and I, 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 I cried my eyes out because... I thought I was learning who Jesus was, but they were indoctrinating me on who he was. I thought when I went to uh, Bible college, 
that I was there wrestling with my teacher and everybody think I was a problem in the class because me and the teacher got it on. Mm -hmm. You know, I... Can I get you to do this? Oh, okay. I'll Sorry, be right okay. back. Okay. Please continue. Yeah, so that's... Mm -hmm. I mean, but to, to bring it down to... The nature which as I said, that's where the journey starts. And mm -hmm. Revelation chapter three, uh, chapter one, verse three tells you that you know it's a blessing to read. Gotcha. And that's what really brought me to that place. Um, I mean, there's so much I could say about that, but all the questions is going to go right back to the scripture, mm -hmm. and and it's going to tell you you need to know read because this is the only books that have been with all humanity from every superpower. Oh. It's never no other book. It's never Muhammad, uh, uh, like this Muhammad book or Buddha's book. It's always from those scriptures about mm -hmm. these people. What about these people that these people went through? Uh, went through. E there is an Egypt. Mm -hmm. Egyptologists would tell you that there is an Egypt. But right. Present usually, day Egypt. Usually the kings don't build their places. They use slaves to do that. Mm -hmm. Like the White House when my, um, Barack Obama wife come out and she said. You know, it's good for the first black to come such back, back to sleep in the house and rebuild it. And when she said that, it's like, okay, now I need to read more. Mm -hmm. And that's the, I still don't love reading, but I can't stop now. Cause right. It's, it's showing me things that was hidden. Yes. And I've been hidden and would have been hidden from even my boys. Right, I and agree. I want them to know what I know, know late. So I'm kind of like reaching them early. Mm. In the name of the Most High. Got you guys. Got you, got you. All right. All right. Well, thank you for that uh, uh, inspiring and insightful uh, 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 information on uh, Hebrew Israelites and stuff. All right. Uh, anybody got anything else to say before I close it up? Any closing <laughs> thoughts? The hungry mom. Huh? <laughs> mom, you got anything to say prior to wrapping it up? <laughs> it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot being said today it was a lot yes uh, to be able to get I know your wife and she's still here mm -hmm. to be able to get the, the full understanding you have to get from the beginning right because you started in the middle yes. so it had her confused it did entire, it did time. so you have to start from the beginning mm -hmm. and be able to go through you know how we became where we are and, uh, you understand right from beginning Well, no problem. Yes. And again, now speaking on her behalf, you know, and I hope this doesn't offend anybody. You know, we don't care who we were. Mm -hmm. We're only concerned with development as a people be because we see a lot of Hebrew Israelites on social media. And the only thing they want to do is argue about our identity. And I'm like, that's a lost cause. Mm -hmm. We should be focusing on. Perhaps, like Patrick say, uh, returning back Getting to the scripture or to the, how did you phrase it? Uh, just to the laws. Get, return back to the laws. Exactly. And, and, and hopefully somewhere in the laws has something to do with economic development. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's what we're more focused on. Exactly. Now, we can identify as Hebrew Israelites or whatever, you know, comes down the pike. But again, we won't spend a lot of time researching it because... We're more concerned about where we go from here as a people. And if it's back to the laws, then so be it. And stuff, okay? So that's that's our point of view. And that's why Sweet Juice and Mama kept having to disconnect. Because right, right. she's still thinking, based on what we've learned, you know, there aren't Ten Commandments. There's 42 laws of Mayat. No. And instead of, well. 613. Mayat okay. is Okay. When you touch us, everything grow. Okay. Wherever we go, finances go. The minerals follow us in the land. The goodness follow us in the land. Gotcha. All of these things follow. So What's it's not about no mahat or mm -hmm. no nothing. No okay. nothing. It's about the truth. And the truth is the that Ten Commandments. we were scattered all over the world. And wherever we are, 
is where things are happening. Mm. And when we who are scattered come back, they will understand. How we come back is through the laws, the statutes, and the commandments which was first given to us what other nations are, have developed into their society and, and now they're living fruitfully because of that. But you won't get the fruitfulness and the, all the riches that you want or the freedom economically mm -hmm. because you have to go not backward but you have to go in the way that was set and that was from the law keep the law and when you know how to deal with yourself as a people mm -hmm. then you know your sense of community strong so no if i plant cassava and you have peanut i wouldn't sell you my cassava for your peanut we would barter it right. we would trade with each other so mm -hmm. no we both have in common so now if i see the cow coming over and eating up your cassava mm -hmm. and not eating up your peanut i'm right. going to help the right. you to stop the cow because mm -hmm. i want the cassava because yeah. mm -hmm. it grows better on your side right. but i have the peanut so guess what it caused me to look out for you right now your interest becomes my best interest mm. and this is what happened if you when you reverse the curse to go back if we did good we would have the blessing today gotcha. but it's coming back gotcha. because we are returning to the land to the law to the people and to our God. Gotcha. all right all right mama uh hungry mom uh about to wrap it up did you come up with any other thoughts you brother patrick i'm good thanks okay you mama Parting words. Yeah, just just excited to be here and to, to see what you're creating here. Okay. Um, gotcha. Exactly. Now we we're not subscribing to any principles here. We're just doing what uh we feel that our ancestors would want us to do. Mm -hmm. It's not the most high, it's not Jesus, it's not Moses, it's what we believe our ancestors, those that came before us, whether they were Hebrew in the life that our ancestors, those that came before us, would want us to do when we return back to the continent and stuff, okay? So I think today, in a nutshell, I think we all said the same thing, uh, just a little different terminology that was uh, 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 introduced uh, by the powers that be. All right, thank you guys for uh, uh, watching the video. Bye, uh, All right, sweet mama, you wanna wrap it up with anything? Yes. Love you all, thank you all, thank you to the guests that's here today and thanks for being here with uh, the bag. All right. Talk to you later guys. Bye.